Best Buy is the world's biggest and most successful retailer of technology. Not only a company best known for the store that bears its name, but actually a portfolio of international brands that includes Future Shop, Canada's biggest electronics retailer, the Carphone Warehouse in Europe, and Five Star Appliance in China. Best Buy is a growing, complex company with thousands of physical, virtual, and international storefronts, and more than 150,000 employees around the world focused on bringing the benefits of a digitally connected world to customers everywhere. But the secret to its success is pretty simple. It's a company focused on technology that never forgets what it really is, an organization of, by, and for the people. Best Buy's history is marked by four values deeply woven into the culture of the company. A determination to face the reality of constant change with courage. A conviction that how a company behaves is just as important as the financial results it creates. An awareness that the journey is just as important as the destination. And finally, a deeply held belief in the ability of every human being to contribute, change the company, and change the world. It all officially started in 1966, when a man named Dick Schulz opened Sound of Music, a hi-fi stereo store in St. Paul, Minnesota. It was a modest success, and Dick added a store every year or two until 1981. That's when a tornado wiped out the most profitable Sound of Music store, a disaster that turned out to be a new beginning when Dick and his team responded to the challenge with a hugely successful tornado clearance sale and learned that people were ready for a change in how they shopped for electronics that they liked lots of space, lots of product, and low prices. The new idea was dubbed the Superstore, and Best Buy was born. In 1989, Best Buy took the big box concept even further, revolutionizing the electronics retailing industry by launching what they called Concept 2, a non-commissioned sales force and a store layout that was fun and easy to shop, along with a new logo to mark the occasion. By 1995, Best Buy was a Fortune 500 company and a national retailer, but an unprofitable one. The problem was size without discipline, and the Best Buy team took the problem head on, standardizing the operating platform and putting a tighter rein on inventory. The result was a five-year run that once and for all proved that a non-commissioned sales force could be a profitable one, and Best Buy became the number one retailer of electronics in the world. In 2002, Dick Schulz handed the reins to Brad Anderson, a Best Buy veteran since 1973. Brad's time as CEO was marked by two major themes, a conscious shift in focus from the products sold to the customer's wants and needs, a simple but profound revolution known as customer centricity, and the expansion of Best Buy's portfolio of brands around the world. The acquisition of Geek Squad, the computer service and tech support company that was at the time a small Minnesota company, Future Shop, the premier electronics retailer in Canada, and a joint venture with the Carphone Warehouse in Europe were pivotal steps in building a company capable of bringing the benefits of technology to people everywhere. In 2009, Brian Dunn, himself a 25-year Best Buy veteran, became the company's third CEO and immediately began to extend that core mission in what the company calls, simply, the connected world. And that's the story of Best Buy so far. A pretty cool place that grows and changes every day. An extraordinary company built by ordinary people. A company with an amazing history and an even more amazing future.